Hello everyone. In this video we are going to show you how to set up and log in or log out your NVR. You must go through the setting up wizard if you start the NVR for the first time. Choose language and read the privacy statement. Now the privacy statement window shows up. Click I have read and agree to proceed. Then set the time zone. System time. Date format. DST. And video format. Admin password setup is required. Set your own password. Default password is 1 to 6. We just keep it the way it is here. Enable pattern lock and click edit to set the pattern lock if you need it. Then we enter security questions setting. It is important for you to remember these answers, or you will not be able to reset your password again. Click next to continue. Then you will go to the disk setting page. Here you can view the disk number, disk capacity, serial number, and read or write status of the disk. Click format to format the disk and click next to continue. We can set basic network configuration here. You can enter IP address, subnet mask, gateway, or tick the obtain an IP address automatically option to obtain an IP address automatically. If you are going to use automatically obtain, please enable DHCP from both the NVR and the router. NVR HTTP port. The default value is 80. And server port. The default port is 6036 can be set here. Keep it unchanged if you are not sure about the usage. The internal Ethernet port is the port that connects all the PoE ports with the NVR system. The PoE ports are available if the internal Ethernet port is online and are unavailable if offline. Click next to go to add camera interface. All devices on ULAN will be listed. Click refresh to refresh the list of online IP cameras. Click plus icon to add the detected camera to your NVR. Click at all to add all the camera on the list. The added device will show at the bottom. Click delete icon to delete the added camera and click delete all to delete all the added cameras. By clicking edit icon, we can edit the added camera to change camera name, IP address, port, username and the password of the camera. And click test to test the effectiveness of the input information. Click OK to save the setting. You can change the IP camera name only when the added camera is online. Click next to continue. Then we will go to record settings interface. It has two record modes, which are auto and customization. The advanced icon allows users to self-define new record mode. If you want to customize the record mode, you can choose customization and set the record mode of each camera such as sensor record, motion record, AI record, etc. Please enable the record as needed. Click next to continue. You can set NAT at QR code user interface. You can enable the NAT function from the interface or set it from the network configuration after exiting the wizard. QR code along with security code and SN number at the bottom will be used in mobile surveillance app to easily add and view your cameras. Before using this function, please enable NAT 2.0. Then click Cloud Update from the wizard interface. Click OK and then you will finish configurating the wizard and logging into your NVR directly. If you want to log out your NVR, go to Start, and then select Logout. OK. That is all about device setting up and login. Thank you for watching.